Dave Ramsey's advice has known potential risks. His approach is centered on cutting debt, budgeting strictly, and saving aggressively. It has helped countless people achieve financial freedom. However, while Ramsey's advice has proven beneficial for some, it is definitely not a one-size-fits-all solution. In the next sections, we will explore the hidden risks of following Dave Ramsey's advice. We will shed light on the details that individual finances can bring. We will now jump into Ramsey's approach. We must start with the bedrock of his philosophy, the one-size-fits-all strategy. Dave Ramsey is well known for his simple approach to personal finance. He wants to make managing money easier for everyone. His advice focuses on getting rid of debt, making strict budgets, and saving a lot. Many people have followed his advice and become financially secure, but his advice has some limits. Not all money problems can be solved the same way. People have different financial situations based on their income, debts, family, and future goals. Ramsey's strategy may not work well for everyone. People with irregular income or big medical bills might find Ramsey's budgeting rules too strict. They might also find his debt payoff suggestions too risky. This shows a problem with using the same financial advice for everyone because everyone's situation is different. It's important to have flexible financial plans that fit each person's unique circumstances. Be careful not to blindly follow Ramsey's advice without thinking about your own financial situation. One of Ramsey's most famous strategies, the debt snowball method, epitomizes his approach to handling debt. Let's explore its mechanics and evaluate its effectiveness across different financial scenarios. The debt snowball method, pros and cons, the debt snowball method is emblematic of Ramsey's philosophy towards debt management. The strategy advocates repaying debts in order from smallest to largest, regardless of interest rates. This taps into the psychological boost from paying off smaller debts. It fosters momentum in one's journey to being debt-free. The joy of clearing debts one by one can be a big motivator. But this method ignores interest rates, leading to big inefficiencies. Letting high interest debts accumulate interest costs you money. A repayment strategy that is sensitive to interest rates could save you more in the long run. One example is the debt avalanche method. To decide if the debt snowball method suits you, consider your financial situation carefully. If you have high interest debts, following this method may have drawbacks in the long run. It's crucial to tailor your debt repayment plan to fit your financial needs best. Choose strategies that match your situation for better long-term results. In addition to the strategy to pay off debt, Dave Ramsey's advice also includes a strong aversion to all forms of debt and credit cards. This stance deserves a closer look at its potential impact on financial health. Aversion to debt and credit cards. Dave Ramsey strongly opposes debt and credit cards as part of his financial philosophy. He believes in using only cash and argues that it helps control spending and avoid debt. This strict approach can improve finances, but it overlooks the importance of credit in today's systems. A good credit history is crucial for getting low interest mortgages and better job prospects. Avoiding credit cards completely can lead to not having a credit history. This may make it harder to navigate the financial system and can lead to higher costs or missed opportunities later on. This part criticizes completely rejecting credit cards and debt. It argues that credit is a helpful tool when used responsibly. Credit can improve financial flexibility and health. The section suggests a balanced approach. This approach values credit for building financial credibility. It also stresses the need for discipline and strategic financial planning. We are shifting from debt and credit. We now turn to Dave Ramsey's investment advice. We will discuss how his plans may risk people's long-term financial goals. They may also risk their retirement planning, investment strategy, and retirement planning. 
Dave Ramsey believes in keeping investments simple by focusing on mutual funds and stocks. He suggests a portfolio with a lot of stocks and aims for a 12% return on mutual funds. Some financial experts doubt his advice and warn against having high hopes. They say Ramsey doesn't stress it enough. You need to spread investments across different types of assets, like bonds and foreign investments. This lack of diversity could make investors more vulnerable to risks. This is especially true as they get closer to retirement. It may put their financial future in danger. This part emphasizes the importance of having a personalized investment plan. The plan should consider your risk tolerance, financial goals, and how the market works. It disagrees with Ramsey's advice that one strategy fits everyone. Instead, it suggests using a balanced and varied approach to managing your portfolio. This can help you achieve your long-term financial goals and be ready for retirement. It's as important as his investment strategies. Dave Ramsey's advice on emergency funds is critical. It's key to his financial philosophy. Let's examine the potential pitfalls of his one-size-fits-all recommendation in this area. Emergency Fund Guidelines Dave Ramsey advises having an emergency fund with enough money to cover three to six months of expenses. This fund is important to help when unexpected money problems happen. Most people agree that having an emergency fund is a good idea for managing money well. However, following Ramsey's specific advice might not work for everyone. People with jobs that are not stable or incomes that change a lot might need a bigger emergency fund to handle uncertain times. On the other hand, people with very secure jobs and extra money might not need to save as much for emergencies. and They might want to invest or pay off debts instead of saving so much. This discussion suggests being flexible when deciding how much money to keep in an emergency fund. It's important to consider your job security, how reliable your income is, and your overall financial plans. It's also crucial to adjust Dave Ramsey's advice to fit your own financial situation and goals. This will help you create a more effective and personalized plan for financial security. In this video, we found hidden risks in using one-size-fits-all money management. Ramsey's ideas about paying off debt, sticking to a budget, and saving are important for financial health. But everyone's financial situation is different, so a personalized approach is needed. You must assess all financial advice, including Ramsey's, based on your own goals, situation, and risk tolerance. By using a personalized financial plan, you can manage your money better and more securely. 